Newton's law of universal gravitation states that each body in the universe attracts every other body with a force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers. Important to note here that this body that is referred to here, or each body that is referred to, is a body that has mass. So they're basically saying there's a force of attraction that exists between every two objects of mass within the universe. Now we can use this definition to derive the formula and obviously you can then use the formula to derive the definition. But the first thing that this says to us is that the force is directly proportional to the product of their masses. So we know we are dealing with two objects. Each of them has a separate mass. So the product of their masses just means the one mass multiplied by the other. So this tells us that as the masses between or masses of two objects increase, we can then see that the force between those two objects would also increase. And we know that a direct proportion there just means that as the product increases, so does the force. The second part of this definition refers to what's called the inverse square law and says that the force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers. So what that tells us is it says that F is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers. Very important here to specify that it is the distance between their centers because very often this law is used for very big objects where there's a big difference between the center of an object and the surface of the object. So what this actually tells us is it tells us that the force is directly proportional to 1 over r squared, which can be written or drawn on a graph like this, showing a direct proportion. We know that a straight line means direct proportion. But that is not really telling the whole story of what the relationship is between force and distance, because what we need to understand here is that as the force increases, the distance between the two objects would decrease, or more likely, as the distance between two objects increases, the force would decrease. And so we show that with a graph of force versus distance between them squared, and this shows us that when the two objects are very far apart, the force is very small, and as the objects get closer together, the force increases. And so these two graphs are very important. This over here is referred to as the inverse square law. So what we can do by combining these two relationships, we can find that the force is directly proportional to the product of the masses of the objects over the distance between their centers squared. And in order to make this into an equation, we introduce the universal gravitational constant, which then tells us that the force is equal to the gravitational constant multiplied by the product of the two masses divided by the distance between these two object centers squared, where we know that the universal gravitational constant is 6.67 times 10 to the power of minus 11 newton meters squared per kilogram squared. This is always a constant for every part of the universe. And so the three factors that we have power over would be the masses and the distance between those two objects. We can now also see why it's possible to derive the definition from the formula, because this formula tells us that there is a force between every two objects with mass, and that force is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the distance between their centers squared.